sit here in the terminal waiting for the damn record because this truck's buried up in snow. I tried to, you know, for an hour to dig this motherfucker out, but, you know, ain't really shit I can do about it. But anyway, right? I kind of want to talk. Just try to express my feelings about stuff, you know, things that I think, things that run across my mind and things that might be, you know, sitting with me a little funny. I don't really have no issue or nothing really to complain about, low key or seriously, but you know, it's a subject that I think about. Guy friends, right? You know, some guys are the type of guys, like, they gotta have a whole clique full of niggas. I've never really been like that. I have four homeboys, right? One's in prison, one's married with two kids, the other one, you know, he got a wife and a girlfriend. I don't know how the fuck that works. And the other one, he does nuclear work. You know what I'm saying? Outside of them four niggas, I ain't really been too tight with too many niggas. Like, I've never been the kind of guy, and I mean, I've been like this since I was young. I've always been a lone wolf kind of dude. Like, you know, I'll hang with dudes under like the sense of like association. Like if we got common, if we got common shit going on, like if we work at the same job or you know, we just happen to be in the same environment and we just cool and he's like, yo, I invite you over to my house, yada, 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 come hang out. Then I'll go do it, you know what I mean? But I, I like to get to know people first. I'm not just the super social butterfly type, but I'm not really necessarily anti-social completely either. Like, I don't necessarily not like talking to people. Like, I know how to talk to people. It's just not like something that I'm big on. Like, I've had dudes screw me over, do a lot of fucked up bad stuff to me in my past and this at the third. Man, I've had guys that I was cool with try to fuck girls I was with at the time. And, you know, it's been a real twisted cycle. So I'm not really big on male friends. Most times I've had male friends, them niggas was trying to get me in this shit that I wasn't really crazy about. And me, I'm the kind of motherfucker, I'm a weird dude. Like, ain't too many niggas I know like wrestling. Like, ain't too many niggas I know like anime. Like, and most of you motherfuckers ain't trying to stop talking about, like, investments and, you know, what we doing to, you know, better ourselves with money and shit. Y'all want to get drunk, get into bullshit and cheat on y'all wives and girlfriends. And I've never really been about that. Like, even when I was single, like, I would hang, like, you know, I had guys I was with, you know, cool with the military and everything. And we'd hang out. And a lot of them motherfuckers would try to, you know, talk them, try to be on some type of shit was like, oh, I'm not going home to my wife tonight. And, she can, you know, blow my phone up. I'm not worried about what, you know, what she got going on. I, and I was like, you know, and I always personally was like, you know, why sit there and do all that if you know you're going to feel some type of way when she flip on you? Like, why sit there and pretend like you don't care when you care? Like, why sit there and pretend to run the streets all night? Like, I'm a guy, I feel like personally, I have my faculties in order with who I am as a person. You know, and I know... And I've been I've been on this earth long enough to know it works for me. Now again, I like this boxing gym idea, and this, this idea is something I've been sitting on for a while. If I meet some friends in that shit, I'll fuck with it. But it's got to be some really positive dudes that I can learn from. I don't want to be around no motherfuckers that get into fuck shit when they get drunk. Like they want to get on bullshit when they get drunk. Like I've never been that kind of guy to hang with other guys. Like I said, like anytime I've ever been cool with niggas, anytime I've ever been cool with the niggas outside of the niggas I know, it's never really been good experiences. And I'm not, and I try not to let, you know, old experiences hold me, hold me back from new ones. But it's just never been something I've been big on. Like, I've never, like, I, I'm, I'm always been a lone wolf kind of dude. Like, and honestly, that works for me. Now again, like I said, if I meet people, then I meet people. But I'm not necessarily going to look like, Anything I want to do, I can do by myself. Literally, I can go lift weights by myself. Like, I'll go shopping for whatever the fuck I want to Walmart by myself. I'll watch TV by myself. Like, I like a space where I can think and do the thinking that I need to do by myself. Like, you know, the things that I feel like I need to do. What is this nigga doing? They just run around the dog here in this front truck. something I've been crazy about like I don't necessarily need it you know but again if I if I run into some motherfuckers that's on some old hey we trying to get rich type shit and I don't know posse scheme bullshit 
But like, listen, this is what I think you should do. This is what I think you should invest in. You know, like, or, or like a gym club. Like, I would join a, a club full of dudes that want to lift weights. Like, there's got to be a point and a purpose to why we're friends. Like, I can't just be with you and be talking about nonsense all day. Because most motherfuckers either want to ask you for a bunch of advice and don't want to take the advice. Or they got a lot of shit going on that I really don't fuck with. Like, I'm not a street dude. I'm not a guy that likes football. I don't necessarily like basketball. Like, I, I, I've had times where I ran the, you know, the dudes and everything. I've had times where I ran the dudes and everything. And, you know, we've been out at the bars and stuff. And the first thing they talk, like, you know, because I'm a guy that wears, you know, certain teams, hats, and everything. Yo, how the Raiders doing this shit? And I'm just like, bro, I don't even watch football. And when I tell them I don't watch football, they look at me like it's a cardinal sin. Like, bro, why the fuck you don't watch football? Like, why do you not watch football? I, I don't know. I could never get into it. Like, I could never get into football, and I could never get into basketball. Only time I really watch football is on the Super Bowl. And that's generally when the parties are popping off and things are going on and shit is... You know, it's, it's, it's a fun little event to go to for the Super Bowl, right? Anyway, uh, the guys in the snow plow, I'm waiting for the record to come pull this truck out because I can't get this motherfucker out. I'm going to speak of the he is right there. But yeah, man, um, again, I've never been super big on guy friends. They gotta be the right type of guy friends. They gotta be positive guy friends. They gotta be guy friends that show me, you know, about a mortgage. It's gotta be guy friends that show me about, you know, investing money. It's gotta be guy friends that probably show me, you know, that's a nice looking dog. It's gotta be guy friends that show me, you know, better technique to lift in. Like, I'm trying to progress as a man and get better and, create, and, and fix my credit and shit. You niggas want to be on bullshit, be in the hood and shit, smoke weed on the block. Like, I don't want to hang on the block. That's not me. You know what I mean? And I try to just stick true to who I am as a person. So, like, this record's here. I'm pretty sure he's about to pull me out so I can finally get my fucking day started. But, you know, I just wanted to share my thoughts.